T minus 15 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Ignition, lift off. Vehicle is pitching downrange. Vehicle is supersonic. Coming up on one minute into flight, we're getting ready for maximum dynamic pressure. Vehicle has reached maximum aerodynamic pressure. You've heard the call out. We're through the region of maximum aerodynamic pressure. Vehicle going supersonic as we leave the denser parts of the lower Earth's atmosphere. Falcon 9 trajectory looks good. All nine Merlin engines are at power. Everything looking good for Falcon 9. We're heading due east from Cape Canaveral, headed to the first of two orbits planned for today. Nice view from the onboard camera looking back at the plume slowly expanding as we leave the atmosphere the plume will get larger as we get out to the vacuum of space. Now today, first aid shutdown is planned for about T plus two minutes, 45 seconds. We won't be recovering the first stage today, so that leaves more propellant to burn to achieve the required orbit for the satellite. If you compare that to last week's CRS-18 resupply flight to the space station, on that mission, the first stage shut down almost half a minute sooner than today. We needed to reserve enough propellant to be able to turn the first stage and return it all the way back to the launch site. Now coming up quickly in 20 seconds, a sequence of events, main engine cut off, the nine main engine shut down, stage separation, and then ignition of the second stage engine coming up in just under 15 seconds. AVI stage separation confirmed. We've had successful ignition of the second stage engine. The Merlin Vacuum D engine is up at power. Turbine speed stage looks one, good. You can see the nozzle beginning to glow red. A tradition stage for two, the upper stage. Trajectory. First stage has completed its mission. It's falling back to Earth. As we said, we won't recover it. Coming up next, fairing separation out in the vacuum of space. You guys, fairing separation confirmed. The position of signal is being needed. Nice view in the late afternoon. Sun shining on the payload fairing. The second stage has separated the payload fairing around the Amos 17 spacecraft as we're now in the vacuum of space. Right now, Merlin vacuum engine continues to be on power. Trajectory looks good. Stage two is right in the middle of the predicted path. Avionics reports their systems are nominal. So coming up four minutes and 15 seconds, Mark, we are go on Falcon 9 carrying Amos 17 to the parking orbit, the first of two orbits for today.
So just past the T plus five minute mark into today's mission for Amos 17. In case if you've just joined us, we had a slight delay due to weather over at uh, Florida launch site, but we did take off at 23 minutes after the hour. And as you can see on your screen, the stages have separated. And there we have a beautiful shot of planet Earth as the second stage nozzle is glowing gorgeous red, orange, um, as it's carrying AMO-17 to geostationary transfer right. orbit. Stage two on nominal trajectory. We have confirmation that the trajectory for stage two is nominal. Just after the second stage ignited, you may have noticed a couple of pieces coming off from the nozzle. Um, if you've tuned into our launches before, you see that every time. Those are basically, basi that's basically just a stiffening ring that we place at the end of the nozzle to give it a little bit of structural integrity for transportation purposes while the rocket is still on the ground. Not really necessary uh, once the rocket has taken off and they fall away. The next major event that we are approaching at about the eight minute and nine second mark will be the first of two second engine cutoffs, or SECO-1. Uh, at this point in the mission, the second stage is pulling about three and a half Gs. You yourself may have experienced that. If you've ever been on a big roller coaster, equivalent to that, the space shuttle encountered about three and a half Gs whenever it was taking off and re-entering. Terminal guidance. So we're less than 30 seconds away from second engine cutoff one. Like I said before, this is Amos 17, which will provide internet, phone, and secure communications to customers in the Middle East, Africa, and Europe. We're sending it Stage to geostationary to transfer orbit. And we have confirmation that second engine cutoff has occurred and that we are in good orbit.